What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you a really cool gadget that you can get for your car for under $20. It's an OBD2 diagnostic tool that is wireless and it connects to your smartphone if you have iPhone or even an Android phone. So you just click on the app, it'll check your uh, miles per gallon, it'll check your um, check engine codes if you have a check engine light, it'll tell you uh, basically a general idea what the issue is and I'm gonna show you how to connect it right now. Update, the price dropped to $6.99 with free shipping, limited time only. Check out that link in the video description below. So I have this extension cable and I want to plug in my OBD plug right here. And most cars have this, 96 or newer. It's usually under your dashboard. And then, then I just have double, I have double sided tape on this one. I just stick it on right there. I'm going to show you two different kinds that you can get. One is Bluetooth and one is Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you the one that is Wi-Fi right now. Plug it in, my extension cable, and the car powers it up. There's no batteries needed. Your car battery, uh, as soon as you plug it in, it'll turn on. All right, so right here, I'm going to turn on my car. All right, so it is powered on. I got the red light. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to download Elm 327 Wi-Fi. That's the app. Then you want to go ahead and click on Connect and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. Then you want to select Wi-Fi OBD. All right, so this one is a little bit more confusing than the other one I'm going to show you, but I'm just going to show you this one so you can get the idea what the Wi-Fi one is. So let's click on this, help, and now let's go ahead and select, let's say we want to check our battery voltage. So we put read input voltage, now the code is ATRV. All right, let's go put A, T, R, V, hit send. And then it tells us our input voltage is 14.1, which is good. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the other one I highly recommend. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect this one, the Wi-Fi one. Now I'm gonna plug in my favorite one that I highly recommend, the Bluetooth OBD2 diagnostic tool. All right, I plugged it into my extension cord right here. And now I can mount it anywhere I want under my dash. And the red light indicates that it is powered on. Now with this one, you want to download a different app. It's called Torque. This one's highly, highly recommended. It has almost five stars. Just click on that. You want to make sure you have it turned on, your Bluetooth turned on. So you want to hit scan. Right, let's go ahead and select OBD2. Oh, maybe it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. One, two, three, four. Let's go into the Torque app. Not Torque, Torque. Go ahead and turn on the car. There it is. It's live. So we, uh, it's running at 1,000 RPMs right now, which my car is currently running at 1,000 RPMs. Let's go ahead and rev up the engine. So it, it's pretty accurate. Look at that. And it's sitting right at 1000 RPMs right now. Pretty accurate, I say. So what I really, really love about this is that it gives you so many options, so many plugins. Click on the gear right here and you go to your vehicle profile, click on edit, and I have mine set at a Mustang. You can set all your, you know, you have to look this up. You just go, um, you could Google the specs on your car and then you can fill in the blanks and it gives you more of an accurate um, reading. So I highly recommend doing that first before you do anything else. And then you wanna uh, obviously click on save. You can check your check engine codes, click on that. And here's my recorded check engine codes that I had recently. And so I could uh, click on what the code is. And see, it gives you the code P0113, powertrain, intake air, temperature circuit, high input. That was a loose connection on my uh, cold air intake sensor. All right, I can look at that up on the web, but it basically just told me right there. See mass airflow, see I got P0102, mass or volume airflow circuit low input, and then P00, um, P0113, sorry. So that's basically um, 
the same thing it just it pulled up two uh, different error codes but it was the same issue it was loose connection on my cold air intake uh, sensor and so I could click on that and then if I want I could click on clear codes all right and you want to write these codes down just in case you know, keep it for your record and okay and that would reset uh, the check engine code or that would re actually reset the check engine light just by doing that and then now if you take your car to your dealership or you take your car to, for inspection, it will show up no codes. So now it's uh, erased from you know from the car memory. And let's go ahead and click on the um, diagnostic part. And so here's my throttle, my speed, my RPMs right here. These are all actually current. So this is what you see is live. This is what it's mon monitoring from my car currently. My zero to sixty, my uh, my horsepower. Uh, it, it does a full diagnostic misfire on your engine, uh, fuel system complete. See, look at all these diagnostics, and you can add more too. You just hold down that, add display, and let's go ahead and add. Uh, let's add something. Let's click on a digital display, and look at all the options you get. It's like insane. It would take me like two hours to like tell you all these options. This is one of my favorite ones right here. My fuel cost per trip. I mean, if you're an Uber driver, this may be uh, really useful. Look at that. So, five cents, six cents, just my car sitting in idle. You know, I did have a racing tune uh, I flashed on my car, so. I guess my, my gas mileage went from 20 miles per gallon to like, I think like 14 miles per gallon. I click on plug-in and you can change your theme, allow plug-ins full access. Okay. And you can install, here's all the different ones, currently installed plugins. Hit back, you can change your units. Right here I have miles, I'm, I'm using feet. Let's hit back, back and see the theme has changed. Now if you're interested in adding fuel economy, only thing you have to do is go to your Google Play Store or your App Store. Okay, fuel economy plugin and click on search and there it is. There's my fuel economy plugin and right here it is installed. Now you can install, that's like an add-on for the Torque app. So make sure you have Torque installed first, and then you can install the plugin for Torque, which is called Fuel Economy. And so the apps that I have currently is uh, Torque Pro and Fuel Economy plugin for Torque. When you have it all functional and working, you'll have the OBD light blinking and the power light blinking, and it'll say PC. But it, that really means it's connected to your phone. And I'm giving away two of these devices. I, I'm actually gonna keep one because it's an amazing device. It's probably the best gadget I have for my car. So if you guys are interested in the giveaway contest, you have to be a subscriber. Check out my Instagram. My Instagram is on my channel. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're interested in getting one of these diagnostic tools. I'll send you a private message um, telling you you're the winner. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up.